Hello, everybody, and welcome to another weekly update from me, Martin. Uh, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, except for this week when uh, mostly what I seem to have been doing is having meetings and doing videos. So uh, this week we're going to have a bit of a light update for you. Um, but first, as always, I want to give a big shout out to all of my sponsors. This week's Ride the GNU Smoke sponsor is System76, who provided this computer that I use to make Inkscape. Um, but all of the other contributors who are hel helping fund the time that I spend on Inkscape, thank you so much. Um, as you're probably aware, this week I spent some of my time doing a live stream for the 1.2 features. Um, a big thank you to Chris and Tim for joining me and for all of the people in the chat who contributed to that live stream. Um, it was a lot of fun and it was also very tiring. Um, the way my week worked out this week is that I spent a bit of time programming and preparing the beta and helping to do some administrative tasks. I did the live stream and then I kind of expected that I would do some more fixes, do some more stuff. And, uh, and I couldn't. I was just f completely laid out by the um, the effort of it. I, I completely didn't expect it. I didn't expect to be quite so um, tired. I just tired for, for two or three days. I was just done. Um, so apologies. I, I did want to get some more work done uh, than I did. But um, hopefully the live stream made up for it. It, it, was, it was great. Um, but I did actually get some things fixed. So... Uh, the I did the welcome screens for the beta. Uh, this involved graphics editing, uh, putting together some of the contest winners into the correct for format, uploading them and putting them into the into the repository once the branching had happened. Um, they looked pretty good, but I'm a programmer, uh, not a graphics artist. I'm just filling in the task uh, because there was nobody else to do it at the present time. Um, I fixed the PNG exporter because if, if you installed Inkscape, the default setting was to export as two bit black and white. Not black, white, and gray, black and white. Um, that had to be fixed because default PNG export should not be less than RGBA 8, 8 bit. Um, I made the DPI optional in the, um, the batch exporter. This was a request from Chris, actually. He was like, why is it always putting the DPI inside the, the file, file name? That's not optional. You can actually specify a little curly braces DPI if you do want that. Um, I fixed the idea of the welcome screen opening uh, so that if you launch Inkscape and then you launch Inkscape again while the, the welcome screen is open, before it would just launch another welcome screen. Whereas now what it will do is it will cancel the welcome screen. Um, some users were reporting that they were getting frustrated that they couldn't actually get past the, 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 wel the, the welcome screen. Um, I also added a little X to close it in the uh, top right hand cor corner. If you cancel the welcome screen on your first run without doing anything, uh, it will never show again. So the it'll just sort of like default check that box that says don't show this again. So if you, if you immediately just press escape, it just goes, no, okay, fine, I get it. You don't like the welcome screen. I'm not going to show it to you again. Uh, very specific circumstances that that will happen, um, but it'll catch some of those users that are just not interested in that in that screen. Um, I did do some administrative work. I did a budgeting website page for the Inkscape website. Basically, this is all, all of our existing budget information is sort of smeared across a bunch of um, text files. And uh, I wanted to actually graph it. I wanted to see the charity fund this is. I wanted to see where the Inkscape Char Charity Fund was, uh, how we were growing the donations, etc. Part of this is just administrative because we're going to be hiring a new person to look after some of these tasks. And I wanted to make sure that the tools that were available for them were um, better than just like a text file. Uh, whoever we hire, is go it's going to have to be a com conversation as well. Um, one of the things that I did have uh, this week... Uh, was I had more discussions about what the future or this this next year's tasks are going to be. I had a big long discussion with Mark about the CMYK color support in Inkscape. We broke down the tasks necessary to actually deliver CMYK into three basic um, 
segments, I should say. It's storing non-RGB colors inside the SVG, right? So, so it means that when you select a color or a spot color or anything else, the SVG remembers that that's what you said, right? Uh, displaying the colors correctly when you, you know, are rendering it inside of Inkscape. And the last one, which is exporting those colors into a PDF, that's the one that is that looks to be very, very, very hard um, because of the corner that Inkscape has backed itself into when it comes to the technologies that we're currently using to export PDFs. Uh, we use a technology called Cairo. Cairo has absolutely no support for anything other than RGB 8-bit. And to add CMYK to Cairo, it is, there's a, an entire pile of very, very hard, very difficult tasks that, need, that are necessary. We could alternatively take the PDF export from Scribus, um, but that's an awful lot of work as well because Scribus doesn't support all of SVG. Uh, so we can't just use Scribus as it is. We act, we'd actually have to take their code and uh, mutate it into sort of our own PDF uh, library. Uh, or we could write one from scratch. That's probably not going to happen, but it was worth talking about how extremely hard PDF, uh, <laughs> PDF exporting is. Um, that That's basically why that task is so difficult. It's just uh, it's, the PDF spec is very large and there are no libraries that you can just use off, off the shelf uh, with color support, I should say. Um, I do have some other tasks on my plate as well. Uh, there's the connectors tool, there's the shape builder tool. There's a whole bunch of refactoring of various bits of Inkscape's code base to like make it more maintainable. Um, a lot of these tasks I'm going to be putting to my Patreon supporters. So if you are one of the supporters, uh, you can look forward to filling out one of the polls that I sometimes put out there because uh, I do want to make sure I'm prioritizing these tasks to whatever you guys want. Um, but that's it for me. Let's have a look at some of the other Inkscape work. These are tasks and things that um, I didn't do. The big one is Mark put out the beta release. He did the source build. He did the Windows build. He did the Linux build. Uh, heroic work. Um Rene does the Mac OS builds. Congratulations to everybody that's been involved in the beta. Uh, it's pretty solid. Raphael fixed a number of um, build problem problems himself. PBS uh, committed a really interesting branch that just deleted a whole bunch of code that wasn't even being used. Uh, I love those kind of clean cleanups. And honestly, I'm kind of jealous because I have I currently hold the title of the most code removed from Inkscape. Uh, for this cycle, um, but he's nowhere near catching up to me. <laughs> uh, Thomas has the first patches in for 1.3, so he's probably been holding on to these fixes. He fixed the, a path vector bug and an SVG2 symbols ish issue. Those merge requests have been ha hanging around for a while. Um, he probably just want, wanted to make sure they, they were in for the next ver version. Um, so congratulations for Thomas for getting the first modifications in for the for next year's release. Um, and that's about it for now. The beta is out. It's going to be available for four weeks or so. This is the time when mostly there are translations that are happening and you can get um, you know various fixes and things fixed, but only critical problems now. So we're talking... Um, you know, crashes and significant regressions. Other problems uh, are just going to have to wait now for the next ver ver version of Inkscape. Um, so thank you all for helping. Um, most of what I'm going to be doing now is going to be thinking about the next version and fixing critical issues. Those are like the two balls as we like hand, hand, hand it off. And um, I'll see you all next week to see how I, what, whatever I did. Thank you.